Hello and welcome to Rock Studios in Asia Pacific. My name is Gurvin Kaur and I'm the Regional Content Lead. And today in the studio, I'm joined by Anthony Wong. He's our Regional Director for South Pacific, which includes Australia and New Zealand. Hi Anthony, happy Hi, to have you. Thank you, nice to be here. <laughs> so we're actually shooting at Rock Life, which is one of our key events that we hold in different parts of the globe. So could you share more about what Rock Life is and why is it such an important activity that we do every year? Yeah, um, look, as with the rest of the world, we run a Rock Life session uh, every year and it's been growing year after year. So um, in my first year in 2019, we were around 200 attendees um, and last year in Sydney, we got it up to about 550 and this year again we've added another 100 so we've got over 650 registered and actually we had to close registration three weeks earlier because we're oversubscribed so it's um, obviously an event that customers and partners value a lot. I think it's the most unique format that we've got you know in the industry because yeah. it's not just presentations but it's actually hands-on labs on mm. specific areas so you know one to two hour labs uh, enough to get you introduced uh, and excited and if you want to do more you can continue and you know when I walk the the show floor in the labs the other thing that impresses me that um, whether I go there in the morning or it's the last session on the last day those labs are always completely full um, it just shows you uh, that people are here not not just wanting to network but they're also trying to learn as well what are you hearing from them in terms of what the common themes or issues they are facing in manufacturing? I guess depending on where they are in their journey, the discussion is differently. Okay. So most are just trying to get off manual systems into digital. Um, I think some companies say that, you know, if a volcano hit and lava covered, you know, their plant, and then 10,000 years later someone dug it up, they could be mistaken for a paper company, not <laughs> a manufacturing company. So. You know, I think that's probably uh, the first step is, is how do you go from manual. manual base to digital so that you can make use of that data to do the next level, which is, you know, more things around productivity, mm. um, safety, and just doing things uh, a lot more efficiently. When they produce a product, what they really want to know is how much energy mm. is utilized in that and what types of energy in that. Because whenever you talk about sustainable energy sometimes we think it's just a cost saving but if you have that information and that data uh, and you can say it has x amount of green energy then you potentially could charge more for that product as well as reduce okay. costs so you take the combination of the two so anthony you mentioned about workforce and sustainability and the younger generation they are particularly interested in helping the planet and initiatives to do with sustainability so what will you say to them in terms of how industrial automation plays a key role in driving greater levels of sustainability? Yeah, um, good point, because a lot of the interviews we have, that's definitely one of the reasons they're at the interview in the first place. So we're obviously doing a good job in, in showing that Rockwell has a part to play in sustainability. Mm. Um, I actually think that that merging of OT and, and IT mm. um, and I guess that stigma of, you know, engineering being more at the, the plant level uh, as opposed to IT and progressive and mm. looking at data and analytics um, is certainly attracting a lot of different talent that, you know, they actually feel that they can do something about sustainability, net zero, decarbonisation. Um, because really, when you look at the industry that we're in, we contribute to almost 40% of uh, the greenhouse gases within our industry. Um, and we also generate most of the data for that. So having the data and actually having a problem to solve is an exciting prospect for um, any new workforce coming in um, because they can find solutions to solve that. And we're still working through that. There's still a lot of use cases that we're trying to figure out. Um, but I think that does resonate with um, you know, candidates that come in that they can actually make a difference. Mm, okay, well hopefully you get some good talent in. But yeah, thank you so much Anthony for joining us and if you would like to learn more about what we're doing at Rockwell, head down to rockwellautomation.com. Thank you. Thank you.